What is going on guys, this is Johnny of Ashcraft on YouTube and welcome back to another video in the Android Studio app development tutorials. And today we're actually going to implement our database handler to our main activity um, and hopefully we're going to get all the contacts and uh, we will be able to add contacts using our database handler class. So yeah guys, um, just one thing I want to mention, I actually changed my emulator right now, so this is uh, the Jenny Motion emulator which is for free for personal use and this is a really amazing emulator it's way faster than the Android emulator and you can do a lot more with this um, so I'm thinking about making a video about this emulator and about Jenny Motion so if you want that then leave it in the description and also I'm now active on my Twitter account so you guys can actually uh, contact me at any time on my Twitter account and you guys can connect to me and all that so guys alright so let's get into this <clears throat> so um I'm actually want to change a few things right here. Um so in our uh database handler class there's this get contact method which we made and we actually want to clear up some resources. So we actually want to close this cursor right here and we want to close the database as well. So all we have to do after we create our contact object right here, we actually want to get rid of the database. So we just do db.close. That's something we've done in the other methods as well. So I'm thinking, well, let's do it here as well. <clears throat> so now, do cursor.close, so again this, you know, frees up some resources. And then there's something which is actually going to be a problem if you don't change that. So this is right here in the getContactsCount method. This method will not work um, because we have this cursor.close thing bef uh, and we, actu we are actually closing the cursor before, uh, yeah, yeah, before we actually get the count. So that won't work because, yeah, it's closed and we cannot access any any information from that cursor anymore if it's closed. So all we have to do is we're gonna create. Well, sorry. Uh, what? Could you stop, please? Okay. So all we have to do is we're gonna create a variable, and that's gonna be an integer, and then we're gonna do cursor. Uh, oh, sorry. And just gonna do cur uh, call this count integer cursor equals cursor. Get count integer count equals cursor dot get count. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So now we've done that. We can actually close the database and close the cursor as well. So all we have to do is to be not close. And I don't know if this issue is can be found in another method we made. I'm not quite sure. Yes, in that one. But we're gonna change that in a, in a future tutorial because I actually want to get this done right now. And now we're gonna do cursor dot close. All right, and now we just have to access this count variable, and we have to actually return that, and then we're good to go. All right, okay. Um, so then, next on my list is actually we can get into the main activity right here, and we're gonna cre create uh, another variable up here. So right now, what we actually need is we need to assign our database handler, and we basically need this object right here up here. It's a global variable. Um, so what we're gonna do? <coughs> uh, we're gonna just create the database handler, and we're actually gonna assign this in our onCreate method, or event, or whatever it is. Database handler. Um, I'm just gonna call this to be handler, and we're good to go. And then another thing which I ha which we have to change is right here. This image URI. This basically represents a default image URI which we have, and that would be the no user logo. Um, and then also we have to change that in the future that it actually is a default image UI and then there's another image UI and then we're going to check if the uh, if the user actually selected an image from that you know that I don't know pick file dialog or whatever you made no actually it was clicking on the uh, image and then you could select an image from a gallery so uh, that's actually actually what we want to check if the user actually did that and then we want to assign the uh, either the image UI, the user selected, or um, you know the default image UI. But right now we're just gonna have a a default image UI in that variable up here. And um, how to do that? Uh, we're gonna get to that right now. And because we actually have this as a drawable in our drawable folder right here, and there's no user logo dot PNG, uh, we cannot get this UI. Just by you know doing something like r dot drawable dot no user logo dot no, dot no user logo that's not going to work. So what we have to do, we actually have to create a new URI, and now what we have to do, we 
I'm gonna create this. Oh, actually, no. We are not creating a new UI. All we have to do is actually use UI.parse, I'm sorry. And now we actually have to pass through the a string. And that's actually gonna be the uh, URI. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And the URI is going to be Android dot resource. And it's basically like HTTP, so we have to do a colon and two slashes. Um, and then we have to do our, then we have to put in our package. So in my case, it's .contact manager. So you probably have a different name for that. So .contact manager. And then what we have to do, we have to do slash drawable. That's actually going to refer to our drawable folder. And then slash, and then now the image name, which would be no underscore user underscore logo dot png, like that. All right, and now we're actually referring to the image we have in here, and we actually uh, in here, and we actually got the UI as well. So that's pretty good. Okay, now we actually have to assign our database handler object right here. So we're gonna do this right here. And we're gonna do db handler equals to a new database handler and now we actually have this in our class we have to pass through a context so that would be the application context so all we have to do is get application context that's something we've used before alright <clears throat> so now something else we have to do we actually have to um, add the method which creates a user in the data uh, a, a contact in the database and we have to put that in here because whenever the user clicks the create contact button or add contact button we want to create a, a contact in the database so we actually have to replace this code right here okay so now I'm just gonna leave it there because we're gonna refer to it in a second so now what we have to do um, we first we are going to create a contact object right here so we're gonna do contact contact equals to new contact so now we have to actually get the ID because the ID we want is basically going to be the latest ID um, so to work with that we actually have all we have to do is get uh, no, uh, in the DB handler dot get contacts count because that's gonna be basically the uh, the amount of contacts we have plus one and um, the plus one is basically going to be the new idea. So let's say we have three contacts, and then there are IDs one, two, three. So it gets that, and then we have to actually use that as the new ID. So that's kind of simple, isn't it? All right. So get contacts count, which is going to be the idea because we have that in the constructor. First, we have to enter an integer for the ID. Uh, ID, um, and now we have to actually use a lot of string dot value of methods. So all we have to do is string dot value of. And now the first one, which would be name txt dot get text, and now we're essentially doing the same thing over and over again. So we're going to do string dot value of, and now the next one, phone txt dot get text. All right, so I'm going to do this for all of these text boxes or edit texts, and um, I'll be back in a second. All right, so now we actually have to pass through the image URI right here. So that's just going to be image UI, and if the user has actually not clicked on the uh, image view, then um, the default image is going to be displayed and actually shown in the list view. Okay, so that's pretty good, so that's going to work for now. And now we can actually get rid of this right over here. So we actually have to add this to our contact list as well. But right now, the important thing is that we are actually going to create this contact now. So we have to do db handler dot create contact, and now we have to pass through our contact object. So boom, we've done that, and now we can actually add it, uh, add it, add yeah, add it to <laughs> the uh, contacts list we have. So contacts dot add, and then again we have to add the contact. Isn't that great? So now since we're done with that. Um, we actually have to. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me check. Let me check. We have to. We have to. We have to. Of course, we have to actually read all the contacts from the database and display that. Uh, populate populate the list view with those contacts. So we're gonna go all the way down here. Um, uh, yeah, right below our set on click listener for the contact image image view. We are going to create 
uh, we are actually going to um, get all the image, uh, all the contacts which are in our database, and then we're actually going to add them to the contact list we have. Because we are calling our populate list uh, method, that's actually going to set the adapter again. So then it's going to update our contacts with the up uh, with the contacts which are in this list right over here. So that's basically what's happening. Okay, so let's do that right away. First, we actually need to get the uh, contact list, so we can do that by calling the get all contacts method, which we created in our database handler class. So now we have to do display, uh, display what? I mean list of the type contact, and then we're just going to call this addable contacts. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not usually using this keyboard, so, okay, same problem as yesterday. Oh no, that's the last video. Whatever. So let's do addable contacts equals to db handler dot get all contacts. Yeah, that's the method. Um, so again, this is just you know getting all the contacts which are in the database which we've added, and we're actually adding contacts right here. So if we, we add contacts, they are automatically added to the database, and they are automatically saved as well. So we don't have to do any extra you know methods for that or anything. All right. So addable contacts blah. Um, and now we actually need a contact count, so I have to create an integer, and I'm just going to call this contact, or oh. yeah, contact count, and this equals to addable contacts dot size. Wait, actually, you know, no, actually not, no. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, that would be a uh, hmm. Well, hmm, that's tricky. No, actually, let, let's let's use db handler dot get contacts count. I think that's better. I think it doesn't make a difference, but I actually I created this code before, so that's usually what I do. I create the code, I test if it works, and if it does, then I'm gonna make the tutorial and use the code. And what I do when I write the code, I basically have uh, this little piece of paper, and I write on it what I'm gonna do, like you know. Uh, short words, keywords, uh, which tell me what to do and in what order. So <laughs> that's how I actually make these tutorials. And that's why it takes an extra amount of time to make these. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so integer i equals to zero, and then i i is less than contact count. So we're just going to use a for loop to actually loop through all of the contacts which you have in our contact list. So the addable contact. Um, and yeah, I plus plus of course. All right. <clears throat> so now we actually want to add every single contact we have in here. We want to add that to our list. So it's pretty simple because all we have to do now is we have to use uh, contacts dot add, and now we're going to refer to addable contacts dot get, and that basically gets um a contact um, which is at a certain s position. So it's basically like a an array and you have that index again. So that's basically the same thing. So get i is going to get, get the kind of index 0 technically. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what it's doing. And now what we actually want to do, we want to populate the list again because if there are any contacts in our addable contacts list then we want to populate the list so the list view actually shows all of the contacts which are in our uh, list right here. So to do that, um, we're first going to check if the addable contacts list actually has any entries or any contacts in them, in it. Um, so we're going to do addable contacts that it's empty, and we're going to do if it's not empty, then we want to populate the list, like so. All right, so that's pretty simple, isn't it? Um, so I think this is all we have to do, and now I'm actually going to check if it's working. If it doesn't work, then <laughs> I will redo that, of course, and I will... We will okay, whatever, I'm going to test it right now. So, see you in a second. Alright, guys, so right now we can see our uh, app right here, and again, this Motion emulator is really great, really great tool. Um, if you want me to make a video on that particular emulator, then, you know, leave it in the comments, you know what to do. Okay, so now let's add some contacts, and let's take a look at the list if there are any contacts in there. Of course, there aren't, which is pretty good. So now let's uh, actually have a contact name. I'm just going to use someone and then enter a random number. Or actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create some guy and some girl. 
So some guy. I'm gonna do some guy at some mail dot com. And now let's do some street nine. <laughs> I have no idea. So now let's add that contact. Now it should say some guy has been added to your contacts because we actually created this toast. And oh, by the way, let's quickly check if I actually removed. Yeah, I removed that. Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and now let's create some girl. Some girl. Let's use a different phone number. So let's do something like blah blah blah. And now let's do some girl at some mail dot com. And some Ave. Some Ave. Two. I have no idea. Just a random thing. So some girl has been added to your contact. So now if we go into our list, then yeah, you can see a but it's really messed up. But you can see that this is working and it's actually displaying our contacts. Um, and now if I actually close this app, so still the emulator isn't as fast as your operating system. That's kind of obvious, but it's significantly faster, definitely. So I'm recording, that's why it's a little slower than usual. So let's open our contact manager right here. And now we should actually see our contacts. Here we go. So here are our contacts. It's actually safe that. So yeah, isn't that great? Um, so guys, thank you very much for watching. And in the next tutorial, we're actually going to talk about some editing. So editing a contact and... Yeah, we're just going to do quick some quick fixes because you can actually cannot actually see the image. Or can you? I don't know. It could actually be that you can see that. I don't know. All right. Um so we're actually going to fix that and yeah guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support and you can connect to me via Twitter if you want to. Bye.